Well, happy Tuesday, and it's September. It is. All of a sudden, we took the weekend and for the holiday, and now it's September. Yep. yep. Did you have a good Labor Day? Yeah, sure. Good. I did. Did you? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it's very good. nice. The weather's yeah. been cooler and much more enjoyable, for sure. Oh, my gosh. And <laughs> if you look at the 10-day forecast, it looks wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Yeah, good, good time to be in the Ozarks. Right? Yes, it is. Yep. And we've got a lot of stuff going on again this week, right? Absolutely, yes. Um, where we're going to start off is where? Creekside Fire Station, groundbreaking. Yes. So right next to Creekside, uh, there, we're, the city is building a, a new fire station, and it will, when it's completed, it will replace the one that's downtown now that's next to the old city hall. And so the groundbreaking is tomorrow. Yes. So um, it's going to be at 523 South Pine, and uh, you're welcome to help join us. And uh, it's going to be at 11 a.m. Right, 11 a.m. And and the mayor wants us to be there, so we're going to be there, yes. right? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. And then we've got a big event on Thursday, the State of Higher Education Breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we're going to be out at the JPH Conference Center with North Arkansas College. And uh, this event is sponsored by Wabash. And we'd love for you to join us at 730 in the morning out there at the JPH. Right. The, uh, of course, North Ark College has had a big year. They celebrated their 50th anniversary and they had the ribbon cutting last week for the next 50 Mm -hmm. years. And uh, they put a a box in the ground with a memorabilia, so in 50 years that'll be opened. And so, but but uh, tomorrow, I mean on Thursday, State of Higher Education, and so the college is going to tell us about uh, their enrollment, their various programs, uh, both on campus, off campus, community uh, development classes, and uh, and they're also going to uh, with the the local school systems, the high schools. They're going to talk to us about. Uh, the relationships that they have with the, with the high school students and the college. So it'll be a great opportunity to learn about what's happening at North Ark. It will be. And um, if you look there, if you're watching this on social media, there's a link there to register, and we would love for you to do that so that we know to expect you. Um, if you would like to register another way, you can give us a call, and Lloyd or I would be happy to help you. Our number here at the Chamber, again, is 870-741-2659. Okay, and then on Friday, we have our first Friday entrepreneurship uh, meeting. And this month, uh, we're excited to have Lindsay Gabbard from Branded Equine yes. Development to come. And so uh, tell us about Lindsay and her program. Oh, absolutely. Um, so Branded Equine Based Therapy is... Um, just like it says, it's it's therapy with horses, and um, they are just a brilliant nonprofit we have here locally um, to serve the community, and they work a lot with veterans, so they're plugged in with Camp Jack. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, working with horses is just so therapeutic and helpful, and um, they work with all ages, you know, from children all the way up to, um, you know, seniors, and it's amazing and um to hear Lindsay talk about it is just so inspiring and we would love for you to join us um uh, it's going to be here at the chamber 303 north main suite 301 so just come on up to the third floor and um come on up here to the chamber offices and that's going to be at 8 a.m on friday and uh also there's a link there if you're watching on social media to register we'd love to know that you're coming right and if you'd like to know more, they, they, mm-hmm. if you go to their website, they've got like a two or three minute video that kind of tells about their services. And, and it's really exciting what yes. they have done in our community and continue to do. So that would be a really fun event to attend. Yes, it will. And then we have another big event coming up on Monday. And we would love for you to join us for LeaderCast GOAT. And I asked you last week, what does that GOAT stand for, Mike? GOAT, G-H-O-A-T, stands for Greatest Habits of All Time. And so we're going to have, what, eight or ten presenters talk about Mm -hmm. uh, various leadership uh, uh, issues or or qualities like like, uh, uh, doing the right thing at the right time and and, uh, working how to work with your staff and uh, it's a great, uh, great opportunity to send, I would say, your aspiring 
managers, aspiring leaders, uh, mid-management, uh, to uh, get a, almost a full day of, of leadership um, of training. Yes, that day is going to kick off at about 8.45 a.m., and it's going to go through 2.45, and your lunch is included. This event is sponsored by Wabash. We're very, very appreciative of their sponsorship, and your lunch is going to be included in your ticket price. Uh, Wabash uh, is our generous sponsor, and so we've actually even reduced the cost of those tickets thanks to their sponsorship, and the tickets are only $25 each. That includes Mm -hmm. your lunch, or if you want to add some additional savings uh, for your business, uh, a a table of five is only $100. So um, again, if you're watching on social media, there's a link there to get registered Mm -hmm. or give us a call and we'll we'll be happy to help get you registered. But it's going to be the value that you will get from a leader cast event um, is it's it's something. It's right. really valuable. They they break it down. They inspire you to try new things, and they they give you different thought processes to help build you as a leader. It's always mm-hmm. really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited about that personally, and and I hope we have a great turnout. It's a it's a great way for for us and our sponsor Wabash to to bring. Uh, Uh, leadership training to our community. Yes. Also, if you are in the medical field and you're looking for credit hours, there's a way that we can help you. uh, If you attend the LeaderCast Mm GOAT, it's worth credit hours, continuing education. And then also, I think if you're an HR professional, it'll also help you there. I can can put you in contact with uh, how to get that credit. Right. Good idea. All right. So... Yeah, busy week, and then it wraps into next week. So we hope that you have a really great week and that you get to enjoy some of these cooler temperatures. And uh, we're just going to get to work. Right. (laughs) Enjoy the Ozarks.